Hey you, it's Andy. Welcome back to my vlog. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is how to cover up our acne marks and also our active pimples. So, if you have the same skin type of me, I'm oily, acne prone, and sensitive skin type. Please keep on watching. So, let's start off by putting on a smoothing primer from LA Girl Pro Prep HD Smoothing Face Primer. And I focus it on my acne marks and also my active pimples para medyo ma-blur out niya yung texture na meron tayo sa face. I also put this on my pores and also on my T-zone area. Usually kasi dun ako pinaka oily and this primer also helps with your oiliness. Imbis na ipagmukha ka niyang greasy, this will make you look like you have a dewy finish on your foundation or any type of face. So the next step that we will be doing is color correcting and the color corrector that I will be using is from Color Red in the shade Dion. This is the perfect reddish orange shade for me because the acne marks ko actually are bluish purple-ish tones. So, pag nakita natin yung color wheel, makikita natin dun na ang nagko-contrast sa color ng bluish and purple-ish is actually orange shade. We can't actually use this para sa active pimples natin kasi that has a more red tone rather than having it a purple tone. We will be using another color corrector for example. So now we will be putting it on our dark circles. Pwede rin naman natin to gamitin sa dark circles natin kasi they also have the same undertone as our acne marks. Next is putting on a green color corrector and the color corrector that I'll be using is from LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade green. And I will be putting this on my active pimple. Actually, makikita natin sa color wheel na ang nagko-contrast ng red color is color green. The next step after color correcting, we will be proceeding in concealer. So the concealer that I use is L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. And I mainly focus this on my acne marks because this gives the best coverage. But if you have a concealer that you prefer, use it. Put this at the back of your hand. Do not directly apply this on your acne marks or active pimples so that we will not be contaminating the wand or the applicator of our concealer or any products. After putting it at the back of your hands, lightly dab it. I'm using my ring finger and sometimes I also use my pointing finger whenever I blend this. I don't use the infallible because it's too thick and creamy for my under eyes. It creases. But whenever I use this, it gives also the best coverage and it does not crease on me whenever I set it. I'm still blending my concealer with my pointing finger. I know I should use my ring finger, but this just works for me. Also, don't forget to blend it on your lids. After blending everything with your hands, don't forget to use a fungal to flat top brush. I bought mine from Miniso and it works wonders for my face. 
I'm using a brush after I use my fingers because this will blend everything together and there will be no harsh edges. Just don't forget to also blend it on your neck and ears. After putting on your liquid and cream don't forget to set your face with a pressed powder and I'm using the Girl Pro Face Pressed Powder. Using the sponge that comes with the product, believe me, this sponge works wonderful with the product itself. Make sure that you pack it on your face slowly, making sure that the product is in your skin. Done with everything, don't forget to set your face with your favorite setting spray and I'm using the Lux Organic Skin Mattifying Mist. And this does not give my face that mattified look but it controls the oil production on my face and gives a luminous finish which makes my face fresh all day long. Yeah, this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and please if you have friends who are having the same problem please don't forget to share this to them and also subscribe to my channel comment if you have other video ideas that I can post and thank you so much for watching bye